Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a while and it's taken me a while to get my head around it. I've watched lots of other videos on it. I've been on lots of forums thinking about it, reading up information on what other people do and uh, I've come to the conclusion I'm going to have a go at making one. And that is a capacitor. Now, <clears throat> at this point, some of you are going to laugh your face off. Okay. But I've got an idea on... And I know these are wound on a machine, you see. Tightly wound. And all this foil here is what's come out of this little capacitor here. This was one of the capacitors that I swapped out of the Quad QC24 preamp for the paper in oil. So my thinking of, uh, of it is, is I could make this, but without using tin foil, I can use copper foil. Now this is copper foil. Now you can get this copper foil in all different widths and you can get it in exactly the same width of this as this foil to produce a capacitor like this now what i've done and bear in mind you've got to make sure the thickness of the uh the foil is identical now this foil is is very similar now whether it will come out of the same microfarad so this is a 0.22 so what i've done is i've measured the length of this foil here to the exact size and it comes out at, believe it or not, 2 metres, 970. So nearly 3 metres long. So I've measured it and I thought I'm going to order in some foil. OK, it comes in in around about a, a 10 metre roll, 5 metres, 10 metres. You can buy it on whatever length you want. And if you can imagine, if I could produce a copper foil capacitor so if you look at the top audio note copper foil ones they work out to around about 60 pound each some of them are a lot dearer if you go and look at vh audio i don't know whether you know that that brand well uh chris van helsen he runs a company in the states called vh audio and some of his copper foil capacitors are 250 pounds each even dearer than that some of them so my thinking is is i'm going to have a go now you're going to say you can't wind that so i'm going to produce a device i'm going to make a device to wind it and this device is going to keep the the tension right as well now it's going to be an experiment guys let's put it that way uh Nothing's ever easy in life, uh, and if you don't try it, you'll never know. And when I did the inductor, do you remember I made the inductor? It never worked, and and I'll admit to it. At first, it 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 looked like it was going to work, and it it never. So, but that doesn't mean that that I can't try again. And and you you keep trying until you get it right. You never just fail and give up. It's pointless in this hobby of ours. I'm trying to bring as many projects to this hobby as possible that actually work and produce a very good product that you can build yourself. And, you know, if, if you build this device, it, it would be very easy. It's only made of wood. Um, if you build this device and once you've built that, it'll be peanuts to build it. Uh, 20 quid at the most, bit of wood, uh, maybe 30 at the most. Uh, and then you can invest in some copper foil. You could build loads of capacitors. And, and the actual concept of the capacitor is very simple. It's just winding a foil, okay, with an insulator. So this is using, I think, polypropylene. It's, it's a foil that's stuck to to uh, an insulator what could be poly yeah it's one of those things anyway now <clears throat> my idea is to is to 
use, I mean, this foil already comes with a paper backing, but the paper backing is fairly thick. So my idea is to perhaps use bako foil that you use in your, in your oven. If you ever cook cakes and that, it's a non-stick foil. It's, well, it's not a foil, it's a paper. It's like a greaseproof paper. That's exactly what it is. Um, there's other products I can do. I'm going to experiment with loads of different things and see what I can produce. Now, um, I, yeah, I, I know I'm nuts. I know I'm mad. But I just love it. I love trying to produce stuff. And then once these are wounded, so when you start off with the wind, you have to fix some legs to one to each wind. So that th these are two winds here. Okay, that are, that are connected at, at one end, just like that there. That is the beginning of the wind there. And, and they wound this up and then they fixed the legs a little bit further up on this particular one. I've undone quite a few of these capacitors now, different ones. I've got lots in the studio out there that I've been, uh, just old ones that I've had. I haven't bought them and, and destroyed them. But, uh, but wouldn't it be good if I could produce a capacitor? And, and it measures right. Now, what you might have to do, in, in effect, this could be a good way of doing it. You could you could make it slightly longer uh, than the original, and then you can just keep trimming it down and testing it, and trimming it down until you get to the right microfarad you need. And um, I know I'm going to have probably loads of pelters on this video. You can't do that. That's impossible. It needs to be done by a machine. And, and, and this device that I'm going to produce is going to keep the tension really well. So it's, uh, it's another project coming up. As I say, I, I eat, sleep and drink audio. I just can't help it. So I think that's it for this video. So stay tuned. Uh, another project coming up. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.